Today's video is short and sweet, but the lesson is one worth hearing and repeating because let's face it, we are all susceptible to FUD, also known as fear, uncertainty, and doubt, from time to time. In a recent article published by Forbes, it highlights one high-end art dealer turned Bitcoin OTC trading desk who has extremely wealthy clients wanting a big piece of the BTC pie. The company is called the Dadiani Syndicate, and it was created to cater to the demands of clients who initially wanted to trade fine art for Bitcoin and has now evolved to service entirely cryptocurrency-focused transactions transactions involving enormous amounts of Bitcoin. Now, in fact, the company is dealing with one particularly bold investor who wants to someday own 25% of the total supply of Bitcoin. Now, I don't know about you, but when I hear this, I get a feeling of validation and maybe pride for being a part of this space before this anonymous yet successful billionaire. Now, the other side of that coin is this, knowing that people are out there who not only have the means to own a huge chunk of the supply of Bitcoin, but they are trying their best to get it. And it only solidifies my desire to hold what I have. Now, there are a lot of wealthy people who have been waiting for regulations to determine Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as viable investment options. Now, when that day comes, and it's coming soon, no doubt, they will finally decide to jump in. And that's when you will reap the benefits of being an early adopter. Supply and demand will continue to prove true. Will you be on the right side? Now, you're probably wondering why I mentioned FUD in the introduction of this video. Well, here it is, folks. The New York Post calling Bitcoin to soon reach a whopping zero dollars. My point here is this. Don't listen to mainstream media if you can help it. News outlets like this are rarely positive and never accurate in regards to long-term trends for Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrencies. If this is the first time you're hearing this, get used to the idea. Consider the stark difference between what the real free market wants and what the bought and paid for mainstream media outlets want you to think. And soon you'll find that you can't unsee it. 